Can you believe it's been ten years? Ten short years since we discovered what was missing from our lives all along. Ten years since the launch of the first smartphone. And since then, it's been ten years of extra this, bigger, that, smaller, this, better. That. But otherwise, nothing's changed. Or has it? These devices are now a part of who we are. We define ourselves by which model we own. Each launch creates a new must-have and leaves a generation of has-beens. What was slick is suddenly brick. From dope to nope. So the one thing that's grown without any fanfare is this. Since 2007, 7.1 billion devices have passed through our hands with an average user life of less than 22 months. They're packed with metals that need digging up and components that need energy to make, usually coal. Recycling or repairing them isn't easy, and they're full of toxic chemicals. The phones may be smart, but our economic model isn't. How many more unboxings can our environment take? An economy that digs and dumps can only go on for so long on a finite planet! Any ideas? Uh, yes. What if all technology were built using renewable energy? What if our devices were designed not only to be easily and cheaply repaired, but to allow for future advances? What if all devices were built to last, so you never had to buy a new one? and upgrades actually improved your device rather than slowing it to a crawl. And when your device finally did need replacing, what if it were completely recyclable, free from hazardous chemicals? This isn't a commercial for a new phone. It's about the whole system. And yet, it's not a dream. If we can change how we produce and consume, we can change the world. It's time to discover what was missing from our lives all along. A circular economy.